Hello once more. Welcome to Six Blade Live TV. This is Six Blade Nine here, also known as the Green Reaper. Today we're gonna be talking about Neverwinter, and this is gonna be the second episode. Uh, so stay tuned. All right. But before we do that, um, I just gotta give a little bit of update on what I'm up to. Uh, as I said earlier, I was uh, working on my game, and so <laughs> I keep saying it. So I want to, I want you guys to see something, right? Um, it, it, I tried. All right, let me show you guys in the first place, <laughs> right? So right here, um, this is a launcher I'm working on. Um, right now, like I don't have the buttons and all the other stuff uh, added yet, like the top list, like. Uh, you know when you open you never went to like the launcher um, you know like how you see like the little hopper links and all that stuff up there I haven't like included that into my launcher yet but it's it's absolutely simple um, right now I just I just work on the uh, on the basic design like on the look of it so um, it's kind of similar to never winter but I don't want to be a copycat um, like some of these features here uh, like the way it's designed okay it's almost similar to it but um, I, I'm not gonna copy Barbados like I'm not gonna copy off of Neverwinter Winter like that but um, in a sense uh, I want my game to be a little similar but not like super copy because you know I don't want to get uh, I don't want to get in trouble with crypto or whatever so uh, I also have an I, ha I also have the uh, icon for the game and when you launch it when you launch never winter for example the way you see like the n in red okay when you launch my game never rage uh you can also see like it's not an n but it's like a low it's a little image um it's supposed to be like a devil uh standing looking forward and then there's like an angel on this side and then there's like a like an actual demon on the other side so basically um you yourself <laughs> okay no no actually it's not it's not it's not you yourself okay it's a it's an angel and then there's a demon um it's good versus evil but the the main the main <laughs> i don't know how to say it like the main monster itself is is blade you know um the main the main demon itself right uh so it's um in, in the middle in front of the devil um actually i'm probably gonna like change the the other image on the other side like I wanted to make it like medium medium and then like evil in the middle right um so uh so the the devil itself is the grim reaper um the the actual demon himself is the grim reaper and then there's like a covenant like a low uh like a low uh not a covenant thing but like an altar right yeah an altar like right in front of the devil um and the devil is going towards it and it's like something is coming to like take over like this uh whatever power that is auto possess and then there's like these guys i mean there's the good guy and then there's the other guy on the other side and even though they hate each other they have to like work together to kind of like stop this this overall like monster right um uh, so that's kind of like the team right but um yeah so that's going to play into the actual lore of my game and uh, it's it's an icon so it's not that big so you probably won't be able to like see it <laughs> but if anybody who's like super curious okay i'm gonna be leaving like um some i don't know will you call this an easter egg or whatever like i'm gonna be re um leaving like tiny details like that um that for those who are really interested into like stories and like lores and stuff um it's gonna be like a little candy <laughs> i don't know how to say it. right so um so that's that um that's my launcher if i go into it right now you guys can see like when i highlight the button i can click play and the game is gonna launch there's a register and then when i click here i can like pull um blade and I, then i can put my email i put my password in and then when i register it's gonna let me to um login and then the play button will come here um as for the update okay um i cannot do like a like a direct update on on somebody else's computer because you need like an admin uh type of privilege so and also never um unity doesn't really have like an like an auto update like type of system in it um i hope that that's something they're going to work on in the future um 
<laughs> you guys should just bear with me guys like I, I want to let you guys know that I'm, I'm really like trying to get some stuff done here and uh, you know I'm, I'm busy right so um, so like I was saying right so um, unity doesn't come with like an auto updater like something you can patch together to make an update right so I had to like make it um, using just simple logic so it's a hyper link right um, and then it's going to be active when th whenever there's an update and when you click on that link it's going to send you to my download page and the download page automatically going to like give you the download and all you have to do is download it uh, click where you want to put it in a directory and then just click ok and it will download automatically right so um, that's how it is for now uh, if I if I find something decent, I would like probably like spend money on it or something. Or if I find a way to solve, um, you know, like how when you click a download, like the little uh, progress bar can just go win like that, and then everything can download in that process, like in terminal, for example, right? Uh, mine is just a hyperlink. You, you actually have to go outside of the launcher to like download this stuff. Uh, but but the the game uh, installer, like the setup installer, right? I've already uh, created that and that one that one works pretty pretty well um it's going to ask you for administration administrator uh privilege so that you can actually export the, the the package itself the the actual game itself or the launcher and put them into your program files so it's it's safe <laughs> that's what i'm trying to say right it's gonna it's gonna ask for privilege so you can be able to do that right and that's the only thing it does and then after that it's kind of like useless um you can like trash it right um, and then there's gonna be like a like a um, shortcut right in your uh, user program menu, and then it's gonna be also on your desktop, and you can just edit that and all that stuff. And if you want to trace by the back the uh, folder that that everything is in, so <laughs> like if you don't feel safe about my game, right, just right click on the uh, on the launcher or something, or like open a game and then go to uh, Tax Manager. And then uh, right click on the, I think it's, yeah, it's right click on the uh, game that is, that is running. And then you're going to see like open file location or something like that. And then you can actually trace uh, the game itself, right? Um, so don't think you can use this to hack my game because um, every every single data, right, is going to be, um, it's going to be online. It's going to be like in a, in a cloud and it's going to be protected, okay? So uh the game itself is just like a like a like a symbol or whatever like a like a picture i'm giving you um but all the data for that picture that is backing everything up it's going to be somewhere else right so um that's that so this is my launcher guys uh <laughs> so it's it's not like super impressive um but you know if you know um it's, it's it wasn't that easy to make i had to like learn how to use like control panel and all that crazy stuff and uh, took me about two or three hours um, hardcore going at it and um, stuff like that so that's a little progress um, you guys you guys have already seen my third person controller um, it isn't like super robust like like you don't see like fighting fighting animation and all that stuff but at least you guys have seen the in-game like a basic a basic controller right and I've shown you guys a basic launcher and I'm, I'm my goal right now is to like put all of these together and then uh, make the actual game right so the game is going to be instance um i know a lot of people don't like instance right instance based game but that's what i can afford uh right now um if this is successful in a tiny way like i'm not trying to go super um uh, triple a or whatever right if this is a successful in a tiny way, um, if all Neverwinter players actually try this and they like it and they decide to like support it, right? Um, I am gonna make it open word. Like, I don't know how to pronounce word. Like open word, and uh, yeah. So like, it's gonna be like a big area, and you guys can like quest whatever you want and all that crazy stuff. And it's not gonna be instance, right? Because like most people want like open world type of game, and my game is not gonna be like vast with like nothing to do, right? I'm gonna like add insane amount of stuff in there. Um, it all depends. This is why I'm I'm trying to make my game like a subscription base because um, I eventually I'm gonna like need other people help and to find like professionals. Like any artist you find nowadays, dude, like they're always gonna ask you like, what is my pay? Like 
that's almost like the third sentence in your in your in your interaction with these guys okay what is my pay like what are you paying me and stuff like that so uh, that's what i'm thinking about so uh share the word around um i'm i'm absolute garbage as at photoshop guys and for art like i am absolute garbage like with the digital art right um uh, with pen and pencil i'm i'm pretty good like i can paint i can draw and and so many stuff right so uh, but I really do need help. I see, as you can see, like this is so basic. Like I'm just, I'm just smashing colors together, like black, gray, white, blue, all that crazy stuff, man. That, like, so um, that's that, right? So I really do need help. If anybody know how to do Photoshop and you just want to help, like, it, like any any help we we do, okay? Like, um, but it's I'm still gonna do what I gotta do, you know. Um, and as for the icons and all that stuff, okay. Um, I'm probably gonna do pixel art because, dude, when I say I'm bad, <laughs> I, I have no idea how to like draw with uh, this crazy mouse stuff. So, and I'm not really interested in buying. I had a bamboo, uh, Wacom bamboo earlier, but um, I trashed it. Uh, it wasn't. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't find it used to it, and I don't want to like. I didn't want to like pass stuff up. Um, so. That's it for my game. Uh, a little uh, shop update. Uh, maybe next time I'm actually gonna show you guys me logging in and uh, just connecting and stuff like that. Um, I'm not gonna make it like direct login and then go online. Uh, when you log in, there are gonna be options like uh, adventure mode, uh, which is gonna be solo, and that's the, the quest line, all that stuff. And then there's uh, uh, make your game. I mean, yeah yeah make your game it's, it's a custom mode right uh it's gonna be like the foundry where like uh but this is like an end game stuff right um so when you earn it like you can you can actually feel like it's valuable and then you're gonna actually put more effort into using it so it's gonna be end game uh with this one you can make your own housing okay player housing is gonna be in there um and and stuff like that right so you can you can make your housing and, and i'm actually gonna allow like stuff like duels you can invite people and do them in there um, and depending on the type of resources that you gather you can have like little events little uh, if your friend have like a birthday party like um, they are gonna be like a little cosmetic or whatever like you can actually make that or you can like buy it and all that stuff and um, it's, it's, it's gonna be crazy okay um it's i'm gonna it's gonna be instance and I, I know like a ton of people have like a bad uh point of view about instance based game but i'm gonna i'm gonna try to make every like every mode or whatever um in my game i'm gonna make it really count and i'm gonna make it as fun as possible right uh just to compensate for <laughs> it being instance you know um so yeah i, I i'm so like motivated about this like okay all right that's that's enough right so let's get into neverwinter um i'm gonna launch this game and then i'm gonna uh start talking about it okay right off the bat dude i'm gonna wing this uh what's my password bro i'll be mad pissed if i forget my password i'll just go to bed right now i'll just <laughs> i'll just say yeet close that shit i'm out Alrighty. okay let me let me uh let me uh da -da 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 -da. let me close never rage and open never winter and uh change the view from the first one to the actual game client what up i cannot see oh there there we go there there it is game client okay I'm going to go ahead and stretch this bad boy up. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That doesn't sound right. Okay, let me. Uh, should I put it down here? Like under my camera? Oh, my God. Dude, like, okay. Uh, that, 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 that circus. You know what? Let me. Let me uh, just make this fit the screen okay stretch just thing let me see if it the screen instead okay there we go uh i hope you guys don't mind like my little uh, my little uh webcam in the background there you know what i'm saying all right so uh we are on 6.9 here 
as you guys can see we have Godmaster and red eye and uh this guy right here you know we were, we were on the tro the last time so let's go ahead and get on the uh guardian fighter here i mean on the uh how you call it paladin here actually should we get on christ jesus nah let's go on uh, the paladin uh, so so guys i was thinking about making today or a day for um for for God videos um, where I'm going to actually like uh, talk about the best uh, weapon enchantment like I keep saying this um, eventually I will do it guys like <laughs> I don't know what I when I say something like I keep saying it over and over and I, and I almost like I don't do it um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna find time maybe like tomorrow or something to uh, do that so guys uh, what's up what's up what's up what's up okay we're going to be talking about Neverwinter and this is episode two of my six blade request video and what are we gonna be talking about today today we're gonna be talking about uh, the actual mechanics the changes that um, the, the simple change right that's what we're talking about earlier um, there was only one change in a new game which was the mechanic and uh, and that changed the entire uh, point of view of everybody and before i before i even like start explaining this guys let's um let's find somewhere private should we like i don't i don't want you guys to be distracted and stuff so let's let's sit right here and uh, you guys can look at my bare my bare face as I as I like explain a little story to y'all like my little kids come around little kids story time guys all right let's do this so Neverwinter changed the mechanics boom everybody got pissed even I did bro like you guys like I released a video um, with my TR in Sharander earlier I mean uh, back in the days okay and now and I was like and I was completely like crazy, like I was like, man, this mechanics, man, you guys are using like uh, one, I mean, you guys are using like two to three different uh, stats to just, I mean, two to three different like descriptions to represent one stat, like awareness and all that stuff. Like where, what, what, what does that mean? Like, I don't need no awareness to like play a game. Like I'm, when, I'm, when I'm playing, I'm like already aware, like, come on guys, you know, I was, I was mad pissed, you know, it didn't make any sense to me okay and and that and that that's actually true you know like this game is different right so you cannot compare it to what it used to be you know um if you try right like it's mixing apple or oranges bro you never you you just you just won't find the, the actual comparison there you know um yeah both of them out of game out of game and all that stuff but in, in the in the core aspect right like neverwinter is is this this is in neverwinter like the neverwinter you knew this is in it. That's all I want to say. Um, now we're going to talk about. So before I, before I get into the mechanics, okay. Before I get into like the the actual content that I want to talk about, um, let's talk about the uh, the 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 effect the effect of the changes, right? The effect of the module when it came out, mod 16. Okay, so before mod 16 came out uh, in mod 15. Uh, it, it more 15 was almost about to be get over, man. Like everybody was like all hyped up, dude. Like we were having like man, like Nick Flo show out there giving leaks, even though my dude, you shouldn't be giving leaks about a game, you know. Like it doesn't, it doesn't give a nice report. But the people who were testing it, uh, it kind of like brought a trust issue and all that stuff. Like people were like so hyped, man. Like I can't even explain this, bro. So. The test, uh, the oh my god, stop shaking. <laughs> the uh, previews, okay. I don't know the tester or whatever, okay. Those guys uh, who were selected to like uh, test the beta of Neverwinter, right? Uh, they came back to us, right? And they were they were like all like so uh, disappointed, right? And um, I I was a little confused, okay. Um, uh, 16 has so much hype. Um, and I thought it was really going to be something really nice. Um, even though like, 
I, I sort of knew like many things were many things were get a, gonna get a change, but when I heard stuff like multi classing and all that stuff, it got it got me super hyped. So I was a little confused to be honest. Like I was like, man, like they shouldn't do us like this, man. You know, like what's what's going on and stuff like that, right? Um, so so the, the test guys came out. They said, man, this is this this game is is really is they really did something bad to the game, man. Like they really trashed the game. They dumping down everything for the new players. And once they said new players, like they got me, they got me like all oh, messed up. Okay, like when you when you talking to me, right? Like you don't you don't you don't you don't insult the new players, dude. You know everybody being that shield, okay? And I and I completely understand. Like that's something I stand for, bro. Like somebody new right you got to help them out and and that's just that's just what i do bro that's what that, that's just, like no question asked okay um so when they started talking about new players like how uh they have to like dump the, everything down to like make the new players interested and like uh get new like people like low babies like that's what it was saying okay they said they're gonna they're gonna dump they're gonna dump the game down so bad that like even low like six years old are gonna be able to play okay even though that's not like the case right now you know and that was like so crazy right um and me i was i was all here like telling telling everybody that like hey man like scaling is gonna come here and scaling is gonna be in the dungeons and the main goal of scaling is to make sure that everybody is at the same almost at the same level so that they, these uh guys who want to like carry and stuff like they don't they don't like destroy all the ads and like make people uh collect that garbage as they run through everything like blazing through it like just wiping everything you know like scaling how to come right scaling how to come that that was one of my one of my thing that i talk about and when i heard i was coming like i was i was on it bro i was on it like i was pushing it forward right um and scaling is good right so um so you guys already know what scaling is right so i don't have to like re-explain this okay uh, but this is a lecture, okay? <laughs> this episode two, and and going forward, I'm gonna be like almost like giving you guys like a story or whatever, and just giving you guys some low knowledge, okay? So I'm I'm gonna be dropping the bomb on you, okay? Um, so so that that happened, right? Every uh, all the tests that came, they were like super pissed. Um, Northside man, Northside was like insulting like left and right, like Northside won't stop crossing, bro, and like. Like it, it was it was crazy. Rano was like trying to speak English mud hard. Like he didn't even know how to speak. He was like, no man, like <laughs> I don't even know how to do Rano accent, bro. Like, but everybody was like so pissed, they wanted to like talk so much, they, they wanted to like just express themselves, right? And that was absolutely understandable. And uh people like Galactic Unaware like had like that little podcast and uh Silvery, all of these people who went to test the game, like uh, they were like invited and they had like the chat and all that stuff and mini me guys you guys remember mini me He doesn't play anymore uh, Maybe it's kind of like family issue or whatever um, That he isn't playing and people like Rob you guys already know who Rob is and Like if I if I forget your name dude, like just know that, <laughs> that I, I like I like look up to all of y'all and uh, I really appreciate y'all and all that stuff um so I don't have anything against any content creator. Like if I don't remember your name, it's just because I don't, I don't, I just, I'm not, I'm not a Einstein or whatever. So, um, so yeah, so a ton of people, man, like who, uh, were interested in like the podcast got invited and all that stuff. And they, they chatted about, uh, basic stuff like how, uh, PVP should be, uh, new PVP modes and the type of changes that are coming to the game and how they don't like it and how they tested the characters and all that stuff and it was obvious like what they were talking about was absolutely obvious like never winter at this point okay what they were doing was they were they were just they were just copying the old the old content from the old game and just putting it into their new game right this this never winter is a new game and they were just copying like some of the stuff that they needed okay they were just copying it and bringing it over right and some of those stuff also had like codes in it that were like absolute garbage. Okay, <laughs> so when they brought those over, okay, the garbage code also came along with it, right? Um, so that's why we still have a little bit of bugs in this module as well, right? So, 
um that's that right so they were talking about it more 16 was absolute garbage like if you guys saw my, my earlier video like episode one I, I show you guys like a like a tiny like a quick comparison right so more 16 had like all the bugs everything compiled together with a low extra right and and that's that's a lot of bugs that's like that that if that was a, like a food or something right it could feed your family for like freaking decades for like years you guys could like just in you know, or college just sit down here like build a house in the in the basement like like straight on nuclear <laughs> war type of survival stuff i'm talking about right uh so that's how it was right so crazy amount of bugs everybody was freaking out everybody could see it and it was it was just crazy okay um so the developer lost launched that patch notes and i, I hop onto that right away bro i made like a, a a crazy amount of series okay a crazy amount of episodes and i explain everything and all that crazy stuff right and so i i just i just want to give you guys the background and um so that can lead into what i'm about to say right now right which is how everybody is right now and why you shouldn't associate that with yourself right um so those those testers right um they interacted with the developers and we don't know what they, what happened between them okay and when the testers came out, they said that uh, it's gonna the game is gonna get dumped down, and e every one of them was pissed. And we, the, the guys who didn't like go into test mode or whatever, and we could see it. Okay, so with that part, we can agree with them. Okay, but we don't know why else. Okay, we don't know why else they wanted. Okay, um, that a company kind of like deny and then it made them pissed, right? So in a sense, right, everybody have their own agenda. Okay, and. Um, don't don't let them fool you guys like every everybody even i do like everybody everybody have their agenda like every youtuber have their agenda right so um so we don't know what they wanted and it didn't come true right um so they got pissed right so that's that's one of the things to keep in mind okay so now now we're coming to this modern day uh cryptic in or half of the content creators um that tested the game and also in you know, or people like Kali Gold and and like Kali Gold had his own module, okay? Kali Gold had like Kali Gold is a crafting type of guy. He's like into like um con like <laughs> like crafting, okay? I, I don't know, like making stuff, um gears and all that crazy stuff, right? So the company tested out his ideas and it, his he had his own module, bro. Like it's not that crazy, right? The cryptic is able to give somebody their own module, like the same way they are giving us PvP, like this, right? Like cryptic actually did this for like people like Caligo, and I'm sure like other content creators also had their own module. Like it's not like it wasn't like name after them, like or oh, anything way too obvious, but in a sense, right? Like the the stuff that they asked for, right? It came, right? So that's their module, right? You know, so um anyways let's let's get back to topic right so um <laughs> all right so crypto you know everybody uh and made silvery famous and all that stuff and uh so everybody that's double trouble right so first of everybody was pissed that the um all the content creator was um were pissed that they didn't get what they wanted and then second off they were being ignored okay so that's two team right Two things in mind. Keep 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 you know, keep those two things in mind, right? And uh, and the third one you want to keep in mind is that bug. Okay. Um. Obviously, bug is never gonna be out of a game. Okay. Every single game that you play is gonna have bug. Okay. So with all of those things in mind, okay. When you start playing, okay. When you start encountering like tiny bit of low like errors and all that stuff, okay. You already have like all of this history behind you, right? so it's kind of easy for your head to get crowded right this is the, i'm talking about the, uh, the the content creators okay uh when i'm saying this right so put yourself in that shoe right uh you already have like all of these stuff that like that made you super pissed okay you just came from out and you are like super pissed and then you coming in okay and you see like all of these crazy stuff happening right and it's it's just gonna make you mad pissed like if just behind like you just want to burst burst out and, like s destroy everything right uh, so that's how that's how the content creator were okay and um so as a result we started getting like back-to-back -back videos uh first it started off between between them right um everybody started like like throwing bombs i mean uh uh throwing shades at each other okay 
um, we had like Galate versus Assessment, uh, Assessment, I mean, uh, Silver versus versus uh garlands and like all of this crazy stuff happening bro like people throwing shades people like karate chopping each other in the back and all that stuff right um so <laughs> so that's how it was and then boom everybody just turned around to cryptic in a sec you know you know in like like light speed or whatever okay they were like this guy you know it's like okay every so so now that we've already like made each other piss now that we've already hated each other okay now that we've already like like destroy the low bonds that we had okay let's turn around to the to the, to the only last thing that is left and that's that is cryptic right um perfect world or whatever right so everybody turn their eye all red and stuff um turn it at cryptic and then we started getting like this these little uh main videos and uh this low uh low uh you know you know drama videos and stuff and um and it, it, it they, they weren't good they weren't good to be honest um so <laughs> it's kind of funny it's kind of funny I'm, I'm gonna like make some jokes in this okay um first off let me give you some let me give you one joke right so neverwinter release uh on the mountain okay on the mountain was a new word right neverwinter with that with that module right what what i think neverwinter um what i think crypto was trying to show is that we are giving you guys an absolutely new word we are remaking everything right okay that's what honor mountain was okay um you are you are you are like a fresh new adventurer and you just came to the in, into the place that you have no idea about right so that's a symbol right there that's that's symbolism right there let me let me paint the the, the image let me paint the pictures for you right um, and then next off Neverwinter releases uh, Uprising. Okay, Uprising is basically <laughs> kind of like people like Galactic just get the mad pace, like just just slamming the door back and back and back again, like just back and back and be back again, just releasing meme anger anger of uh, angry videos and just cursing a cryptic back and back and back again. So that's that's uprising and all that stuff and that's 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 what we are we are in right now okay we are we are uprising from like the absolute arches ashes okay um and then uh the funny part is that neverwinter is about to release another video i mean <laughs> another uh content and this one is going to be about like uh i don't know pers like the under like uh, it's not an honor word. It's said an honor word or something like, like in hell or something, right? And everything is gonna be super chaotic. Um, but I feel like that that is what that is the stage that we are in right now. But anyways, uh, that's how it is. So um, everything is gonna be chaotic. Um, I, I think that's kind of like setting up the, the scene because like Neverwinter used to have like up to 4K or 5K uh, CCU concurrent users or like people who are online at the same time. Okay, that's mm -hmm. what it means. Uh, but now Neverwinter have like about 2k, 1k and stuff like that. So that's that's just crazy. Okay. Um, so if you want to like make all of those connections, right? Um, that's just a just a nerdy stuff. Okay. So that have no <laughs> nothing to do with the actual point, right? Um, so so why you don't want to um, associate yourself with these guys, right? Um, these guys have their storyline from all the way from the past, like. The, the, the stuff I just took like maybe like 30 minutes explaining to you guys this is where these guys are from this is where all the veterans are from this is where we are from okay everybody who are playing right now who have actually been in the past game this is where we are from right so the anger okay everybody have that anger everybody is toxic right now okay and that's absolutely understandable um, for those of you guys who are playing the game and you guys are like feeling super bad because like uh, people are taking forever to like to like the queue up for like instances and stuff like if it, if it is taking like way too long the average right and you, you start to feel bad and you want to like just quit the game right um, just just know this okay this is a new game we are just starting off from like this is mod 1 mod 16 was like mod I mean like uh, better and then mod 17 is like mod 1 all over again right um, pvp have been reintroduced this is what most of the games do games do right actually actually this is what like never went to a day um earlier right they, they released the pve and then later on they, they introduced like the pvp and stuff like that so that's that's how it is okay 
and one one thing you have to be a little excited about is that uh, we have we have fewer bugs than we used to than we had um, back in the days, and that's something that's a nice sign, right? And eventually moving forward, okay, uh, most of the bugs will go away, okay, and uh, and the goal of this series pretty much is just to explain about. Uh, some of the stuff that we see okay that could get changed um, and probably like some of the stuff that I talk about like the, uh, the company already handled this right so um, stuff like that right so so why why don't you want to associate yourself with them uh, the second reason here is that these guys like the uh, veterans that are making videos right now and just cursing at the company uh, making like super <laughs> Who is this guy? <laughs> oh my god, look at this, look at this move, oh my goodness. Uh, he got his uh he got his objective down there, he gotta like go and, and slay the Nashes. Why why am I like why am I interrupting the guy like adventure bro? That's that's no fair, that's no fair for him. Alright, so um Oh my god, I'm like so easily distracted. Alright, so um where was I? Okay, so so these veterans did like they they making angry videos and they like uh saying like i know you don't want to do this i know you don't want to like like they <laughs> okay like you know when somebody is like trying to like make some little drama that's how they, they they talk like when they say i know you like when they when they predict why you what you want to do instead of like asking you what you want to do or like explaining something really clearly okay uh they kind of complain in that way right and that's how you know like something's off right so the veterans right now complaining is pretty much those guys who are not playing the game right now okay runner runner used to complain more than he, he he is right now like uh yes he's pissed okay yes he probably like doesn't play the game much anymore because it's different okay and it's either you take it or you leave it right that's that's how it is the company this um already left um a message saying that they are not gonna they are not gonna go back so right now it's just you either take it or you leave it right and a lot of people who are like old players are kind of like leaving it uh, but new players are always going to come okay um, there aren't a lot of free game out there okay there aren't a lot of free MMO out there so there will always be new people coming to the game and stuff like that so in few few months from now a few years from now uh, I hope the game still survive okay it is an MMO and new generation will come right so stuff like that um so for guidelines and for for um for for uh galactic on the way right um this is why i'm gonna say when you guys are watching those guys video right i actually used to really enjoy those guys video and because like i had like a part in me that was like super uh like super like angry okay um, not like rebellious because that wasn't really being that was just being straight up angry, right? Um, so when you guys watch Garland video, um, know that uh, like I I like Garland video myself, okay? Uh, know that Garland is speaking uh, from the from the past, okay? He's using the I from the past, okay? In my previous example, that's what I said, okay? Um, so so know that like. He's he's alright. So like, think about this like a like a grumpy old man, right? He's like, oh, back in my days, like this, 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 this and stuff like that, right? Right. So um, when you listen to Garland's, like, just think about it in that sense, right? Don't take all his uh, don't take all the neg negativity and like try to make it your own, right? Again, everybody here have their own goal, right? Uh, people like Garland's are pushing for like content creators, but but he is pushing exactly for him for his type of group right for the veteran type of group okay so when you think about it that way that's how you know that people everybody have their own agenda right and if you are like a new youtuber or if you are like a tiny channel you, you're gonna be like oh what is what is in it for me like if people like guidelines are not pushing for like low guys like me to like rise up to the top you know and be like what like you know up there as well right like then then like why am i looking up to this guy right um, so think about it that way, okay? Um, and for Galactic Honorware, dude, uh, what I can say is, uh, yes, Galactic Honorware is a is a nice guy. Uh, he make decent videos. Uh, he make decent builds and all that stuff. And uh, 
yes yes he he did have his time okay he did have his time but nowadays okay galactic unaware is not playing neverwinter okay galactic unaware have no idea the state of the game right now okay uh, he released his bill um, after I released mine and he said he needed he even explained that he needed help to make his video I mean to to, to like uh, pretty much gather his data right so <laughs> like he's he's taking his sources from outside okay and again one thing you have to take in mind is that people like us right when we when we try to make a bill right we want it to be like everything that we did with our own like you usually hear like i did this testing i did this i did this and stuff like that so we usually want to do it all by ourselves want to be like the primary source right um so that's that's why that's why like that's why you really can't trust okay um not like you can't like you can't take seriously okay uh what galactic Unaware is talking about right now because galactic Unaware is not in the game itself right um so in a sense you can't really take his his step of mood and like put it on yourself right if you play the game okay and you are angry right all right so think about it like this right if you are from the past okay you you automatically going to be angry and there is a reason for you to be angry there are, there are several reasons for you to get angry right uh, so if you play right now okay and you are angry um just know that it's it's, it's like a trail okay it's like a trail behind you right so if you can take that and put that aside and try to look for at a game from a new perspective okay look at it from like this is a brand new game this is so this like like i'll close my eye right now and i'll clear this this slate and everything that i'm going to see right now is absolutely new right and then you open you open your eyes like i'm, I'm literally like trying to like hypnotize somebody here um so like stuff like that right so um so people like Galactic on way just just consider those guys like as outsider. Those those guys are not in the game. If 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 Galactic on is in the game and he's playing actively and he's like acknowledging some of the part in the game and also um, put shining light on the other part, right? Um, that would be understandable. But right now, people like that, they, those guys are probably like playing other games, right? Um, so okay. Um, when somebody play play another game okay for them for them to like feel happy about themselves uh for them to feel like as if they made it the best choice or whatever right if you like if you like bought a new a new uh shoes or whatever and you saw another shoe that that kind of look a little better than yours right you're gonna you're gonna think about a way to make that shoe that look better than yours like that new shoe that you just saw to like you're gonna try to find a way to put it down, to put it down below the new shoe that you just have, so that you can you can give value to that new shoe that you just have, right? So that's how it is, right? Every, when you move to a new game, you you tend to look at the old game as if like it was something really really bad. Um, in worst case, worse than what it, what you uh what it what it used to be, right? So um, stuff like that, right? So galactic right now when he make video about neverwinter just think about it this way he's trying to put neverwinter down so he can feel good about playing video right and also um be be considerate guys like don't like i'm not i'm not trying making this video to like put anybody down but be considerate like everybody is like human right and this is like a like a simple like a simple this is our simple nature this is what we do right um this is like this psychology step of stuff that i'm talking about here knowledge guys i am hitting you all with knowledge literally okay um so consider consider that and don't don't like don't like cut galactic aside but just don't let him get into your head that's all I can say. Don't let don't let toxic people right now get into your head. If you like the game, um, or if you like if you are like a dedicated player to this game, right? Like I am, right? You will see the flaws. You will get angry at the flaws, but don't let it get into your head. Continue playing if you want to play. Uh, take a break if you want to take a break and all that stuff, right? So that's what I want to say. <laughs> all right. Today we're gonna be talking about. Um, uh mechanics okay um like i was saying this is a new game and the mechanics are also different uh life steal i mean yeah life steal is no more and it been replaced with stuff like uh all right so what is life steal life steal have been replaced with awareness right 
does awareness have any value in this game right now i don't think so i don't think awareness have any value right um but then again uh people can like test this out and tell me whatever right um next thing here is uh recovery right recovery was replaced with um accuracy accuracy man i'm, I'm just gonna go back to bay bro um awareness accuracy so recovery i think recovery was replaced with accuracy right um again accuracy have no like it have it have no meaning to it dude like this is an action combat game and you can like aim your stuff and you can like attack okay the accuracy okay it's about you it's in your head okay you can be accurate when you are doing this and this like that right so if you want to aim something like behind you here okay and then you decide to, to shoot this way right you you obviously will not be accurate right and awareness right there's my little angel right here low 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 cute little angel right look at me look 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 look, look at me baby look up turn up turn around and look at me turn 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 oh Oh, you 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 going somewhere else, baby? Look at me here. Okay, she is not aware. <laughs> she is not aware of me. Okay, um, but anyways, um, awareness, right? Like, if you are a gamer and you are in person playing a game, you are obviously aware of the game, right? Um, look at the point of view of this game right now. Like, I am aware of like almost everything in here, right? And even if somebody is standing behind me, like even if like this guy was a player standing behind me, I'm still aware of him, right? I'm still aware that he's there, right? So when when I got pissed, okay, this this was like the simple reason why I got pissed earlier, right? Uh, because most of the stuff in here they don't make sense at all, right? Um, so so that's that was the part that really got me angry because it really made me confused, like. I was, I don't know, like simple stuff like this, like I, I tend to overthink stuff, okay, uh, and that really made me confused and it, it just got me mad pissed, right, and we have like critical avoidance here, and then we have like deflation and stuff like that, right, and it's just, it's just, I don't know, I don't know how else to say, right, you guys, you guys get a point, right, um, so mechanics, okay, uh, right now we see a ton of people stacking up on, on region, okay, um, stuff like the Paladin, Paladin uh, Seagull have taken over uh, popular items like the uh, DC Seagull and uh, and it's crazy, right? Um, so what I'm concerned about right now is that um, people are using legacy stuff like old items, um, i.e. the, the, the uh, Paladin Seagulls to kind of be a little buff in the game, right? So I am concerned about this because if Neverwinter do not have any 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 idea, okay, um, any any new path for the mechanics, uh, in the sense that people actually are using old stuff to like still be OP in the new stuff that they have, right? Um, think about it like like this way: like Neverwinter is dropping the diamond behind as it go forward. And uh, when you as you go forward, you get more trash. And uh, when you look, and then when you look behind, uh, you see the diamonds there, right? So it's gonna push people back. Looking for guild SP bonus, right? It's gonna push people back, and I, I, I like that is in a certain place to be, right? Um, right now, you don't want to be like rocking like the the same thing I, I said about the Demogorgon set, right? People say it was good, and yes, it was good and stuff like that um, in the past. But then it's, it is an old gear; it is a legacy gear, right? So I won't, I won't, I won't want people to use that, right? So a lot of people are getting a seagull, like the pilot and seagull here. So I, I would like to warn people, <laughs> okay, um, that that isn't get the gonna be OP anymore. But in a sense, people are gonna get pissed if the pilot and seagull is kind of nerfed. And, and stuff like that that they are still clinging on to right if those stuff get taken away like my low uh uh elven battle stuff like the low uh stamina it was giving me like it got nerfed okay i also low piss right and people are still clinging onto stuff from the past right um onto the mechanics from the past right so, so um, i'm concerned because if never winter keep uh, never winter keeps taking this away okay they need to have another way um to make things work right and uh, regen is not going to be the solution to everything, okay? 
Um, so, <laughs> so that's what I'm talking about, right? So if life is life still going to ever come back, you know, like that's that's my question, right? Um, I would really like to see life still come back. Um, and and this this is this is my request, guys. Um, this it, it, I kind of like explain this as if I'm like giving like a, like a description or something, but I'm actually requesting something, right? Um, I want live steel to come back, right? I want live steel to re to replace the region stuff um, because the region stuff doesn't have a decent foundation. Okay, the foundation for like <laughs> I don't know, like I don't I don't want to like make this sound like super super. Uh, topic or like I don't want to like blabber okay around um, so all of those stuff that don't have a decent base okay one of it include that like region okay um, I think there should be like new gears um, new artifacts and, and stuff like that okay um, Neverwinter you guys already said that you guys were gonna like give us like a like a trinket uh, actually was it was it a trinket no like it, it was either gonna be a trinket or an ultimate, right? Um, that is gonna like auto res um, a falling ally. So we are still looking. We are still holding you guys with that. With that, um, we are still holding that word in our mind, and we we hope that you guys can come through with that. And one of the things that I really uh, hope that you guys can prioritize when you guys are like uh, introducing this stuff. It's a uh, it's a it's a way to replace the old stuff, okay? Um, the old stuff that we are still clinging on to, right? Life steal being like something that is gonna sustain you. If you guys are gonna remove life steal and you guys are introducing regen, uh, we shouldn't have to go back to like paladin type of type of uh, artifacts. Um, that should be something new, okay? Uh, maybe you guys can put that in the type of gears that we're about to get in the future, and that's gonna make the mechanic. Uh, it's gonna it's gonna give a little it's gonna it's gonna bring it alive in a little way right so again this isn't like so i'm not i'm not speaking from like an angry perspective okay i'm not speaking like hey this should already be here like why isn't this here right i'm speaking as if this is a new game and this is something that i hope could be in the game okay as we move forward right um so that's that right so um next thing here is uh is self-sustainability right self-sustainability um especially for the tanks right um aggro is one of the things that tanks struggle with right um as for me okay uh, i don't know about other people okay as for me i usually end up like losing aggro to like a to, like a healer that is like six feet away from the bus like um 25 feet away okay like six feet isn't too much like in this game um but stuff like that right so if you guys could buff the aggro up just a tiny little bit, right? Um, so that we can like, we can like, when we say look at me, senpai, like the bosses can look at us, right? Um, that would be really good, right? Um, next thing we want to talk about is the, um, the, the, this, this stuff right here. Okay. Um, if you, if you are from the old game, if you are from the old game, you will know that we had, we had a ton of, ton of, uh, ton of talents right uh, but now look what we have here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten <laughs> come on dude come on uh, you know i'm not i'm not gonna say it that way okay i'm not gonna say it that way but we definitely we definitely do need uh more more uh stuff more options right we need more options okay and and this is uh this this is like a new module okay um but this is a new game okay but we i hope you guys are also keeping this in mind okay the next thing okay there is like, like when i when i'm talking about this like i mean like this is the next step of thing that you sh you guys should be working on like right now there's like this stuff that that we really do need okay there's like a need type of stuff it's not like we want like we really do need this right we need new i mean and and better and better talents right uh some of these talents here are kind of like animate animations uh, from like other characters and most of these like are all like like talents from like old uh, from like the DC for example right like from like classes we like we are like borrowing stuff off of these guys right um, we need to have varieties in like the animation style uh, for like healing and stuff uh, the way like Scourge will like heal um, by like the lower horse thing right 
um, and DC is healing by like a lot by throwing like balls <laughs> around and stuff like that right uh, we need something similar to that right like incorporated with with all of um, with other abilities right and stuff like that so that's mechanics um, what else what else what else uh, that's the talents um, oh oh bosses okay um, this one is not specifically mechanics or whatever actually it is it is okay um, so Fame Breaker Island, okay. Um, Spring Breaker, uh, Fame Breaker Island. Uh, the boss in it is is not it's not good anymore. Um, when I mean like not good, like he's like super buggy. I mean she's like super buggy now, okay. Uh, player who are doing insane amount of damage to her can like skip over the animation for that is supposed to warn us that she's about to like uh, devastate like the entire arena. Like she about to like destroy everybody, right? Um, if you attack her too fast, like she she go through that animation, and you don't even know that she about to, she about to like <laughs> she about to like destroy everything, right? And then boom, you look everybody just just die, like she just one shot everybody, right? Um, stuff like that. So the mechanics have to get have to get re redone, not like redone, <laughs> like it have to get reassessed, and it have to like catch up, right? Um, so it will be nice to go back. And uh, look at these step of these bosses and make sure that their their mechanic is working properly um, as they should be. Okay. Um, obviously, I talk about this like in the past when I was uh, when I was doing like uh, how do you call it like the trial thing. Was it a skirmish? Uh, Prophecy of the man, the tomb of the Dwarven guys, gods. Something like this, right? When I was doing it, where like the uh, hawk monster were not like charging at people, right? D that's like the simple type of stuff that I'm talking about, right? Um, so keep keep that like low uh, low stat or whatever like as a note, and everybody should should like go and like reassess all of these all of these ads and like make sure that everything is working properly, right? This is gonna refresh the entire module. It's gonna refresh the entire game. That's what I'm talking about. Um, so maps that are already not working right now, uh, there are a ton of them. Uh, but you guys, as soon as you log into the game and you play for a long time, you can actually gonna like see what we're talking about. Uh, you guys already said that you have like testers and all that stuff, right? Um, some of these, some of these guys are, are just way too hard to kill. Um, for example, the vote, the vote uh, instance, right? Um, that one is like insanely difficult to like to to play and be victorious at and that's something we, we really got to look into and also um, in castle never <laughs> i'm just listening back to back like troubles right um in castle never like those uh, zombies those guys are hitting way too hard like those zombies like they, they walk slowly as soon as you aggro them just a tiny bit they turn around like Meow! and then you dead right? <laughs> you dead right away bro like nothing else is gonna save you through like you go from a from a hundred to a negative hundred like i don't even know how that how that works but those guys are hitting mad hard okay um i i'm not sure if you guys wanted them to hit the hard it's, it's really comedic um comedic like it's really funny when you get one shot about like those slow zombies like they just walk to you casually and like they smack you one time and you're dead it's kind of funny um but i hope you guys can also look into that and for the rogues okay um i think the rogues are doing pretty good um not like extraordinarily good but pretty good like they, they are they are where they should be okay uh with the whisper knife being super agile and like super uh fast paced and the assassin being super bursty and super low-key like shadowy <laughs> whatever um uh, it's, it's all good right um, but there are some other classes I really don't know much about because I'm not like that mean and stuff um, I think I think uh, a little more attention could get paid to them um, every even like everybody have their own agenda okay like uh, Scourge Warlock for example uh, will be advocating like people who play Scourge Warlocks um, on YouTube or whatever will be advocating for Scourge Warlock and they'll probably advocate advocating for like more more uh, positive than they than they need than they deserve and stuff. Um, 
so keep that in mind but uh other classes really do have to get looked into um the control wizard right now is doing absolutely well they are doing astonishingly well um barbarians barbarians are, are pretty pretty good right now like I, I don't think barbarians are doing bad um paladins uh mm, okay let me give you an example loka right loka is a paladin uh i don't he he just he don't like me at all uh but <laughs> we're gonna use it as an example right loka is a is a paladin uh he was super op uh but recently i had like a match with him on my team and he got smashed a couple of times uh, he he went like like probably like seven and like one and stuff like that so i don't know if he's like if he was like wearing really bad gears but uh paladins here this this is one of the reasons why we need more skills um there's my my tank bill and my healing bill and stuff like that right so paladins are not dps okay um But there are, there are just a couple of skills here that, that are super OP, like the little freezing skill um, that when you use, like your, your enemy freezes, right? Um, I, I see this becoming like a trouble in the future, um, like in PvP, uh, because it, it, it's a, like if somebody know how to set it up really right, like you could literally wipe an enemy team with it. Uh, actually... The game is good, guys. I don't know. I don't know what really else to say. Uh, I don't know. I should probably like reduce this episode, like nine episode stuff, uh, to like something really, really small. But I've I've been talking for a while now. So, so that's that. Um, later on into this uh, series, we are actually going to be looking at the actual characters and basically looking at our strengths and just going over the talents and stuff. Um, but yeah, I just, I really wanted to make a series and I really wanted to request, uh, stuff to get looked into. Um, and I'm, I'm probably going to like just put a series aside just a little bit and maybe I can collect my thoughts and express what else I really want to express. But, but in this video, what, what you guys learned was, uh, the veterans are angry for a reason and the, the top youtubers out there um they all have their own agenda so be careful as you follow them and don't like to toxicity to get on you because this is a new game and if you are a loyal player you should you should appreciate your game and if whatever turn it take right if you if you are loyal that way right uh, just stick with it if you don't want to play don't play um, it's all up to you right um and then we talk about mechanics and basic like basic stats that really don't make sense that um, Neverwinter could just get rid of and nobody will have any problem with um, and stuff like that. Okay, you guys, you, Neverwinter, you guys want to make the game very simple, right? Um, keeping stuff like awareness and stuff like critical avoidance and then deflection and stuff like that, right? It's, it's making the game a little complicated. Um, instead of doing that, like if you guys still want to keep this, like you guys should probably like put up like a line right here. Like the way like you guys have like ratings here, okay, you guys could like put some another name here like PVE stats or something and it's going to make it even more simple for everybody, right? Um, so that's that. Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're new. Um, I just I just rented talk and all that crazy stuff, but it's, it's, it's fun guys releasing content. Uh, this going to add up. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Six play nine. Sound it all. Peace out, baby.